and he risked his life on 9-11. And now this New York City firefighter is looking for some help to save his own life. And today, Brian Kevin was trying to find the help as he battles cancer. News 12's Virginia Huey has the story. They've come from near and far to answer the call to save a hero's life. At the Beth Page Firehouse, people took a swab test to see if they're a bone marrow match for 9-11 first responder Brian Kevin of Beth Page. Yeah, I need to survive. 52 year old Kevin needs a bone marrow transplant to beat cancer. Doctors say Kevin developed lymphoma after spending four months breathing in toxic dust during the search and recovery effort at Ground Zero. You didn't know who was still in, the, in that pile. You know, you didn't know who was, who was buried there. So you just did what you had to do and you showed up the next day to do it all over again. And now family, comrades and strangers are doing all they can to help Kevin in his time of need. Timothy Remsen took a swab test and put his name on the Be The Match registry because his father battled a similar cancer. When I was growing up, my dad grew up with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And I was too young to do anything, so I couldn't help out, and I felt the need to uh, finally step in and do something. Most people who showed up at the donor drive didn't know Kevin, but they said it didn't matter. Really hope that the more people can come and find a match for him and that everything gets better. I hope that this will provide options for other people and say, you know what, this is nice, maybe they should do the same you know, and be there for people. This event not only holds the potential of finding a life-saving match for Kevin, but for thousands of other cancer patients nationwide. Every year, there are anywhere from 12 to 18,000 patients who are searching for a match. We hope that we'll find matches for all of them. I just feel overwhelmed with hope that we're going to find Brian's perfect match today. Kevin and his family are grateful for the outpouring of support. It's an amazing thing. Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island. Oh, what a fantastic event. Now, two more donor drives will be held for Kevin in the coming weeks, one in Comac and the other in East Northport.